We got Colin Anglin back here on the program. He's going to be taking on Sean Woodson at UFC Fight Night on November 13th. Colin, how's it going, man? I'm good, James. How you doing? Doing awesome. Always appreciate you taking the time. Just to let our audience know you are on your way to work. You install Windows, correct? That's who you were telling me. Yep. Yeah. yeah. That's good. How long have you had that job? Because I feel like you didn't have that the last time we spoke. Yeah, no. Uh, I started this like... Um... Uh, maybe a month ago or a few months or a few weeks back. Um, just, uh, you know, it was, uh, my buddy actually, Cody Brundage, he, he's, he was working for them. And, um, he, uh, he just told me like, they're super, super flexible with training hours and it's, uh, it's good extra money. So, um, so yeah, I've been I've been here for like uh, a few weeks now, and it, it's a uh, it's a pretty easy job and good money. So that's good. That's awesome, man. And yeah. the bonus for them is they know if someone doesn't pay their bill, right? You know, they can. You guys are fighters, so uh, there'll be some yeah. some, uh, some heads to crack, right? Uh, yeah. so there you go. My that's bad. okay. Phone fell. You're doing it on the fly. There we go. I'll there you go. You got it. Um, yeah. So that that's awesome, man. Glad to see that's all worked out. Um, was this the right amount of time off in between fights for you? Or are we looking to get in there a little bit sooner or later? What what sort of uh, your your thoughts on having this fight in November? Um. Yeah. It's. Uh... Wait. Sorry. Repeat the question. My bad. No. No worries. No worries. And do, if you don't, if you don't have to look at the camera, by the way, because uh, I, I obviously don't want you to to you know keep your eyes off the road. So you can you can look forward and just have the camera up there. But um, yeah, I was just asking. Was this the right amount of time off for you? Yeah, um, you know, after that last fight, uh, obviously it was disappointing and um, just didn't really uh, didn't really show up or um, fight the way I wanted to. So, um, so yeah, it was a uh, it was you know kind of a big deal for me to um, get right back in. You know what I mean? No, that makes sense. Uh, what what did you learn the most from that fight? I'm sure you know you obviously learned more from a loss than a win. What did you take away from that performance in particular? Uh, just um, I would say uh, you know, just I kind of you know I haven't I hadn't lost in such a long time, and then uh, I almost like forgot what it felt like to lose. Uh, if that makes sense, uh, and uh, you know that was a that was a good reminder of um, of that feeling, uh, and um, and yeah, I think I just really took away like uh, yeah, you know now that that feeling's you know new inside me. I, I know what it feels like to lose, especially on such a big stage, um, and uh, you know I don't I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to do that again. So, um, yeah. Okay. And, uh, you're, you're fighting, uh, Sean Woodson, who's a pretty familiar guy to, to your team. Cause your teammate Yusuf Salal already, uh, already fought him as well. Um, was there any issues taking this fight just with the fact you guys have the same manager? I know James Krause sometimes works with Woodson. He's sort of linked to the gym. Tell me about, you know, this matchup, uh, you know, with you fighting Woodson. Yeah, no, no issues. Um, you know, I think it's a good fight for both of us. Um, uh, so yeah, he used to, uh, he used to work with Kraus. Um, I don't know. I don't know if they still do or not. Uh, but you know, I don't really work with Kraus that much. Um, you know, I see him, uh, when we're, we're at the, when we're at fights or something like that. Um, but you know, I would never put him in a, in a weird position where he's, you know, like, uh, giving me inside info or anything like that. And also, you know, Kraus is such a stand up guy. He, I don't think he would ever even do that anyway. So, yeah. yeah. No, because I know that was tough. Um, we had that situation, what was it, uh, a couple of weeks ago with uh, Mike Breeden having to fight Hernandez, right? So I know that's where, you know, that, that was a little tough uh, as well yeah. with, with that type of situation. So, yeah, I just figured I'd mention that as well. Um, saying that, uh, again, he's a pretty familiar opponent to you because, like I said, he fought your teammate, Yusuf Salal, 8-1 and one record. How do you feel like you match up against him here? Yeah, I think it's a really good matchup. Um, you know, Yusuf's a great fighter, but we're completely different fighters. Um, and... Um, I just think, uh, 
you know, Sean's obviously a, a puzzle that you need to uh, kind of figure out, um, especially when you're in there. Um, but, uh, you know, I don't think he's, um, I don't think he's fought someone with, uh, you know, my wrestling uh, pedigree and just like the really like the grit that I'm going to bring to the fight. I mean, he's fought people with grit and I, I don't think that it's gone well for him. Um, so yeah, I, I like the matchup. I think it's a great matchup. Love it. Uh, training camp. Who've been some of the main training partners leading into this fight? Um, you know, obviously, uh, Yusuf, uh, Yusuf Zalal, um, Markel Medeiros, uh, I've been working with um, really just a lot of different, you know, strikers, and um, I have really good teammates, you know. So, so they they try to, um, you know, like mimic him in, in a way, you know, uh, trying to you know get some rounds in with the bigger guys uh, like Josh Fram, uh, Dustin Jacoby. Um, Cody Brondage, just some people with like, you know, longer reach and a little taller stature and yeah. Okay. That makes sense. Um, and how about the weight cut? Everything going according to plan leading into the fight? We got lots of time, but still. Yeah, no, yeah. Everything's going great. Uh, weight cut is, uh, is on point right now. Um, I'm, uh, I'm ahead of schedule, which is a good thing. Um, yeah, I feel great. You know, I have a uh, I have a great nutritionist uh, advance in um, out of Michigan. Um, yeah, still working with the same I've, girl, if I remember uh, yeah. from last time. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I've been working with her for forever. Never missed weight. Never had trouble making weight. So, yeah, good stuff. Uh, who's going to be in your corner for this fight? I imagine Coach Mark. Who else will be making the trip with you? Yeah, I'll have uh, Cody Brundage and uh, Jonathan Martinez. Oh, nice. He as yeah. a cornerman, does he actually? Because I know he's he's kind of a little soft spoken sometimes. I mean that in a good way. Yeah. Obviously. No. Yeah. He's got um. Uh, you know, when it when it comes to corner uh cornerman for me, it's uh, you know, Cody and Coach will probably probably be the loudest. They will be the loudest for sure. Um, but uh, you know, I want good vibes leading up to the uh fight. You know, all fight week, so I'll have uh. I'll have all them out there with me and, um, uh, you know, just, yeah, just about having good vibes and, uh, having a good time, uh, you know, during fight week. Uh, and Jonathan's a great training partner and, uh, um, and, uh, actually, you know, he is a good coach. He's got, he's got a lot of good, um, information, uh, and just, yeah, he's, yeah. uh, he's a good guy to have out there with me. How do you see this fight playing out on November 13th? Um, well, I'm going to win. <laughs> uh, I see myself winning. Um, it's going to be, uh, I, I can see it being a, a dog fight, you know. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm going to put the pressure on and um, put him on his back and uh, hopefully get the finish. Love it. Before we get out of here, got to talk a little hockey. Uh, you must be feeling good about your Red Wings. They beat my Canucks, uh, you know, last week, and uh, they're they're really looking great. It's actually like everything's the opposite so far to start the season, right? Like Vegas is terrible right now. Montreal Canadiens are not very good. Uh, Detroit and Buffalo are looking uh, unreal. And, uh, you know, there's a few other teams, I think, that are undefeated. St. Louis is another one, too. Yeah, yeah. Uh... I haven't been, I've been, I've been trying to watch, uh, as much Red Wings as I can. Uh, it's kind of nice now that they have a deal with, uh, ESPN plus, you know, I'm able to catch some of their games that I normally wouldn't be able to see out here in uh, Denver, but, um, yeah, I haven't been able to really watch a whole lot of other teams. Uh, Red Wings are, are, uh, are looking good. I kind of thought they would look decent this year. Uh, just considering like, the new guys that they're, that they brought in. Um, and, uh, you know, Steve Eisman, he basically over the, over the last few years is completely, I mean, it's an entirely new team, you know? Um, 
So I was excited to see how they looked and, and I think they look pretty good. Uh, you know, they're not going to be like, uh, you know, I don't even know if they probably won't make the playoffs, you know, but, um, but they're not far, uh, you know, maybe a couple of years out from that. Um, maybe a year, honestly, but yeah, we got, you know, Lucas Raymond, who just, uh, he just got a hat trick. Uh, first time I was, I was, I was reading something. That was the first hat trick. I think that was scored from a red wing rookie. I think since Iserman, I think if I'm not mistaken oh, wow. or something, it was something yeah, crazy. Maybe it wasn't Iserman. Yeah. It was someone, but I mean, that just like doesn't happen. So yeah, no, yeah, he, uh, he's been looking really good and I think he's playing on like the first line, which yeah. is pretty cool. Uh, so he fits in uh, with, with all those guys and um, with the top guys on the team, you know. And then uh, Maurice uh, Sider, who's the uh, defenseman rookie, he's been playing great too, you know. Uh, I don't think he's got a goal yet, but he's got uh, quite a few assists. And, um, yeah, I mean, they look good. I, they got they got smoked on, uh, I think, Saturday. They played Montreal. I think, That's right. got they lost six to one, which is rough. But uh, but other than that, you know, like the first game with Tampa Bay, it was it was crazy. And I mean, I think Tampa won six five or seven six or something like that. But it looked they look good, you know. Yeah, they, no, it's they, definitely they looking. Pro- pro- they probably should have won that game. I was going to say it looks better than last year, right? I mean, that that's the good thing is that it seems like yeah. they're going in, 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 the, in the right direction. And, uh, you know, like I said, I know it's early on, but you got to be happy with the start, right? At least they're, oh, yeah. uh, you know, above water, so to speak. Colin, Absolutely. thanks for doing this. Always a pleasure, man. Anyone you want to thank, sponsor, social media, I'll give you the last word. Yeah, uh, just uh, social media uh, is uh, Colin underscore. Oh, wait, no, that's not it. Social media is Colin England MMA. I, you know, I'm on Twitter, Instagram, uh, Facebook. Um, yeah, I just want to thank, uh, my nutritionist, Mary Vance, um, for, uh, you know, everything she does for me. She's, uh, she's amazing. Um, my, uh, my team factory X, all the coaches and teammates and, um, uh, Iridium sports, my management. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Cool. All right. Thanks, man. I uh, hope I yeah. uh, hope you have a good day at work. And uh, yeah, I'll tag you when this is up and uh, enjoy the rest of your evening, man. Appreciate it. Cool. Thank you so much, James. I uh, appreciate it.